when you set up your instance using this bench command this is bench get up uh, branch version 13 and then uh, erp next and then you provide the uh, github repository to erp next you're going to get the developer version of erp next and by version 13 this can change to other versions maybe in the future to 14 15 and so on so you're going to get the uh, the developer version of this what if you want to switch it to the official release um, that is something that i see a lot in uh, online and there are also some other issues that people encounter and that is those are the doubts i want to clear today so you run this command bench switch to branch version 13 and then you provide frappe and erp next because you want to switch both from the development branch to the uh, official release of, of the two apps so this is going to take some time the reason i have done it before this video and you are going to see this happening as it fetches the branches and then you are going to be told to uh, run this at the end so as to so as to uh, to in case there are any changes or any differences in the schema the database schema this is going to, to help you to uh, deploy it in the database so what i did here i just did bench build uh, and I, res I i got this error uh, telling me that the module uh, bleach whitelist is not found it's a nightmare for most people again note that if you do here if you just come here and do pip3 install bleach whitelist bleach whitelist this, this is going to install Bleach Whitelist, but it is not going to install it into the environment that we're using here because uh, uh, ERP Next and Frappe creates a virtual environment where all the things that you are going to be needing are going to be installed. So if you install it this way, it's going to be installed on your host computer, but it is not going to be installed on your environment. So what you do, just make sure that you are on the root directory that and you can see the ENP file. And then what you need to do here is uh, just slash dot env env and then you do bin and then you do pip3 uh, pip3 and then you say install and then you just provide bleach hyphen whitelist install bleach whitelist go and this is going to um have written something else this is bleach bleach whitelist go this is going to go ahead and grab a bleach whitelist and you see it has installed it so now if i try to if i try to do a bench build here that's what is going to happen yeah you see it's be receiving my assets and so bleach whitelist has been successfully installed so we can proceed now and we can see here that we have another error that is telling us uh what is the error here let's see um let's see where did it start happening it's down here it must be somewhere here and so roll up all right so first of all let us just do bench um bench what command did they uh, ask us to run that was bench Mm, it was bench what bench update patch i think i think it was bench update patch let's run that first module not found which module was not found let me see not found module roll up okay cannot find module roll up we are going to look into that so that is that okay things are looking okay backup sites okay all right that looks fine let's do a bench start here on the other side and apparently bench did not start successfully okay so let's do bench migrate now these are uh, migrate migrate these are some of some of the commands that you may need to run okay bench setup uh, 
requirements these are some of the commands that you may need to you may need to to know so bench setup requirements uh, just tries to get the requirements for your application and tries to deploy them in your current application so it looks at the, your files and configurations and it tries to get the um, the requirements and uh, put them together into your application so yeah here you go that's not a big uh, cause for concern i can also increase the font here so that you see what is happening not so much that's enough and i can clear this so this thing is trying to get some things here this is fine let's give it time mm -hmm. you need to you mean you need to be monitoring the errors uh, in case they happen here by the way uh, so you need to be careful to see uh, what the system is telling you Sometimes it may ask that you install some other modules when modules are being installed, so you need to be careful and be very observant. And this one has configured successfully. So now what happens when we try to do bench start? Um, well, it looks like our application is now running. And with the application running, we can now do bench migrate to make sure that all the things that we have done are going to be migrated into the databases. So we give it time to do the migration. The things are running here. So, hundred percent for the three apps, and then we go. Great, our migration has stars is successful. So now we can do bench version to just see whether they have moved. And now we have the three applications. ERP Next is now on version thirteen point ten, and Frappe is now on version thirteen point ten. Great. Let's see that from our from our instance here. So if I do about loading versions, I did not reload this. Let me just reload it. So this thing is telling us that the system is being updated. And so please drive a few moments. Yeah, this is another thing that normally happens a lot. So when you see this, the problem is not so much. You just need to go to your files and go to sites go to sites where are my sites oh let me just make the font slightly bigger and then you go to this common and make sure that maintenance mode is not one but zero and that's it okay retry a sudo i'll provide my password and that's it so now if i reload this it's supposed to work and yes uh, the thing has worked you are going to see a huge uh, list of the things that uh, have been deployed and then when i look at about you can see now i have the official release of these uh, these two applications thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video